puny mortals. As my day approaches, I require one, no, two virgin sacrifices each day, or I, Epic Guy Randy, will lay waste to your Halloween party with some of these cocktails I'm going to show you how to make. These cocktails are fabulous. They look as good as they taste, and there's something here for everyone. No matter how large or small your party, you can make it stand out using my recipe. We are quickly approaching one of my favorite holidays of the year, Halloween of course, and what can really make or break a good Halloween party is whether or not the cocktails and the snacks are themed along with the atmosphere the rest of the evening. So I've put together a series of Halloween cocktail videos here to help you out with that. Tonight, I want to show you what I call the Black Widow Shot. As always, you want to start with some fantastic looking glassware. So I'm using a two ounce flared shot glass that has a nice little colored inset on the bottom of it uh, in like a blood red. So it goes great with Halloween shots. And just like we did on some of the other drinks, you need a small plate with some simple syrup smeared on it and a dish to hold some of the sanding sugar. I've already uh, put out some red sanding sugar for that. So you want to take your glassware and just turn it upside down on the simple syrup for half a second. Just get that edge nice and wet with the, with the sugar water. Let, let it drip for a second because you don't want as much as usually gets on there. It's pretty thick. Then you simply want to take it from here and stick it right in your sugar. And that sugar is going to stick to everything that's wet. And look at that. Is that not just a fabulous looking little glass now? I really like the way that it, it comes out a lot thinner than most of the glasses and it just accents the edge just perfectly. The first thing you need for this drink is half an ounce of chilled cranberry juice. That's going to let it sit right on the bottom for you. We need just half an ounce of it. Just try to get it over the rim without screwing up the nice rim you just sanded. Then you're going to need an ounce and a half of black vodka. Now, I don't have Blavat or anything else in my area, so I have to just use food coloring and color my own vodka a little bit. Just don't do too much because it's not good for too many other things. If you use a spoon and you chilled your cranberry juice, you should be able to layer this a little bit and get the red to stay in the bottom. Even though I've sanded the edge of this glass, I still want to put a little garnish on it. So I've got a little cocktail cherry there on a skewer that you can put there. It's a nice little flavor to get after the thing because that is a lot of vodka. It tastes a lot like a Cosmo, but it is just cranberry juice and vodka. In these size glasses, there's not really any room for ice, so you do want to chill all your ingredients ahead of time. So this is much better cold. And there you have the Black Widow Shot. Thanks for watching. Always drink responsibly and remember that if you're not getting scared or scaring somebody on Halloween, you're not doing it right. See you next time.